Most people I talk to who are interested in using their DNA to find out more about their family don't consider themselves to be science people. But sometimes diving into the science can be just what you need to better understand your DNA test results. And that's what we're going to do today. Hello, my name is Diane Southard and I am your DNA guide. Today, let's jump into Ancestry DNA's side view technology. Okay, let's talk Ancestry DNA's side view technology. Now, this side view technology is based on a scientific principle that every human being has 23 pairs of chromosomes. So you have one set you got from your mom and one set you got from your dad. So if we were to picture, say, your chromosome 9, for example, you would have one that you got from your mom and one that you got from your dad. The problem is when you take a DNA test with any of our major DNA testing companies, what happens is in the analysis, those two sets of chromosomes blend together. And really the DNA testing company sees just this one big blob. There's, there's nothing else, it's just this. And so they can't tell by looking at your DNA analysis results, which DNA you received from your mom and which DNA you received from your dad. Now, this is a problem that's already been solved, actually. It's been solved in a way we call phasing. So phasing is the word we use to describe this separation of your DNA test results into the chromosome you receive from your mom and the chromosome you receive from your dad. Now, like I said, this technology is not new. All of our companies are most of our companies are using this kind of phasing technology to help analyze your DNA test results. So this old kind of phasing technology is based on this idea that because there's been the Human Genome Project, which was essentially this huge project to find the exact sequence of the entire human DNA genome, we have essentially a bucket of common or reported DNA sequences. And so the testing company would look through your amalgamation of results. It would kind of pull out of this bucket and say, oh, these are common sequences. They often go together. And therefore, we're going to phase your DNA and say that this group came from your mom and a different group came from your dad. Now, this technology works pretty well, and it works really well for the purposes that you need it to work for, essentially to be able to tell your relationships to other people in the database, as well as to estimate your ethnicity. But what Ancestry decided was that there was a better way to do phasing. So the side view technology is personal. So instead of drawing from a bucket of commonly used sequences of DNA, they're actually turning to your DNA match list. And they're asking your match list to help them reconstruct the chromosome you receive from your mom and the chromosome you receive from your dad. Now this works because of a very specific principle about DNA inheritance. It works based on the fact that most likely unless your parents are related to each other, which is a different story. But as long as your parents aren't related to each other, any single match in the database is related only to your mom or to your dad. So we can harness this idea, this power of a DNA match and its shared sequence with you, along with a huge database of hundreds and thousands of DNA matches and the information they all share with you. So essentially, I want you to think about each DNA match like the piece of a puzzle to your chromosome. And what, like a puzzle, these pieces overlap with each other, right? In order to do a puzzle and to know that two pieces go together, it's because you can see their overlapping information. And that's essentially what Ancestry has done. They've harnessed the power of their massive database and they're able to look at your specific DNA matches and piece together your specific chromosomes based on the matching pattern of your DNA matches. So Ancestry says this new kind of technology is very powerful and it's very accurate at phasing your chromosomes which gives them the power to do a lot of really fun things with this new technology. So hopefully now you understand a little more about the technology and you'll be ready and excited to dive into the tools and Ancestry DNA. 
And if you like that little tip about Ancestry DNA's side view technology, and you'd like to learn more about how to use your Ancestry DNA test results in your own family history research, make sure you check out my Ancestry DNA tour. It's part of our Your DNA Guide, the Academy offering, and I think you'll find it really valuable in diving into your Ancestry DNA test results. You can subscribe to our channel to make sure you're getting lots more videos about DNA and family history. And speaking of videos, as long as you're here, you might as well check out some of these. So thanks for watching and come again. My